of this. Damn it. Others are everywhere. We'll never make it to the exit. Can you make it out of the hospital by yourself, Luca? No. Teleporting is too dangerous in areas where there are this many others. Calm down. If Wataru doesn't have the data either, I have to rely on my own memories for the route to the exit. My memories... Can I even trust my own memories? Huh? Watch out! Above you! Yuito! <clears throat> I was busy looking farther out. Sorry. I wasn't paying attention either. Sorry. And thanks. Sure thing. More importantly... Others are coming this way. Let's take them on! to take it down. Is everyone okay? Others are gathering. Damn it. Why are there so many others? Wataru, Sugumi, are there any safe spots nearby? As I've said before, there's absolutely no data on this old building. Sorry. There are others everywhere. What? this there you are major general fubuki okay. everyone come with me we'll lose those others by following the underground highway through the ruins of lokusho city Egon here. um where are we is this a safe zone safe zone what is that a blind spot in new himuka's surveillance system we call it the safe zone we'll be able to talk here freely we could talk outside of the city, but we don't want to be seen by any patrolling OSF members. I never knew about this. 
If you want to talk here, that must mean it's something you don't want the government to know. I suppose it does. Had I known sooner that you were going to OSF Hospital, I might have been able to scheme better. You must have known what kind of place the OSF Hospital was. Yes. Seems like you didn't hear anything about it. They conduct power research at that hospital, funded by the new Himuka government. They draw out stronger powers by tuning the human cerebrum. I had no idea they were doing such things at my uncle's hospital. Oh, right. That hospital belongs to the Ichijo family. Listen, what I'm about to say may be hard for you to hear. Huh? As a result of the cerebral research conducted there, a number of byproducts were created. Personality rehabilitation. Yes. They tune the brains of people who are problematic for the government, pacifying them by brainwashing. The government found out that Nagi witnessed Naomi being metamorphosed, so that's why he ended up that way. What? But Gemma Kasane and I saw the same thing! You were all protected under the pretense that I would be monitoring you, but Nagi was captured by the government before I could help him. I'm sorry. If only I'd been able to get a hold on the information sooner. Um, what do you mean Naomi was metamorphosed? I thought she was killed in action. Oh. I see. Naomi wasn't killed in action. She turned into another. Are you really saying that she turned into another? Naki said something similar, but is that even possible? That's a byproduct of New Himuka's research as well. A special material is able to turn organisms into others. Any organism with a brain can be turned into an other. What? Wait. Then does that mean it was the government that turned Naomi into an other? Yes. I'd love to sit here and tell you everything, but staying in the city is dangerous. Most likely, the government has already given the order to hand you over to them. I want you all to go out on patrol. I'll do what I can to take care of everything while you're out. Hold on. How is it that you haven't been subjected to rehabilitation despite knowing all of this? It seems like Luca knew too. Right. That's why Luca wanted to prioritize escaping rather than talk to Nagi. It's simple. I'm one of the government's dogs. Luca should have heard some of this from Karin. If you're curious, ask him. Yes. We should go out on patrol. I'll tell you what my brother told me along the way. Yuito, can you please direct us where to go? All right. Let's head to Kikuchiba. Hmm. The resource rating is close. Should we get it? Huh? I thought I was going... This area should be safe enough to talk. Off the beaten path. Is it true that the new Himuka government was transforming people into others? Yes, it was a long time ago. But Fubuki's fiance Alice Ichijo, was also metamorphosed. My brother and Fubuki began investigating the cause of Alice's metamorphosis. The case led them to find out about new Himuka's personality rehabilitation, metamorphosis technology, and the surveillance systems of each city. Excuse me, do you mean my Aunt Alice? That's right, she was your aunt. Have you heard anything? No. I was told she joined OSF and planned to leave when she turned 20, but she was killed in the line of duty. That's why my family was in such strong opposition to me being scouted. But since we're legally unable to refuse... Hey, I found the file on Alice Ichijo in the database. Oh, you can't legally refuse? What? She looks exactly um, like Hanabi. Alice was the daughter of OSF Hospital's previous chairman. That's why she was engaged to Spring Pharmaceuticals Major General Fubuki. I think that's true. It's the first I've heard this, but it seems plausible. If this was a plan led by the new Himuka government, does that mean my father knew about it? Oh. I think he did. Moreover, it might be better to assume that he was at the center of it all. The Sumeragi family has a long history in politics, after all. 
Then does my brother know about it too? Am I the only one who was kept in the dark? Yuito, Kasane is coming. Eight o'clock. Kasane? Just hold on! We can talk this over! No point. Alright. You'll be dead. What? Okay. Why are you trying to kill Wait, me? Them? At least tell me the reason. I told you I don't want to talk. Whoa. If you trade your Yuita, I'll do everything to stop you. No, just want to stay out of this. Fine. Can you please calm down, Sugumi? Calm down. Yuita's attacking us. I didn't trust Seto, and that got him killed. I won't make the same mistake twice. I'm going to stop Kasane. Hey, Yuita, we should defeat them one by one. Let's nullify the other two, and then Kasane. Are you alright? Sorry. I need you, Gemma. Thanks, Sanabi. What is this right now? Timing. You okay, Hanabi? Let's regroup. Yeah. What's the enemy? Back off. No problem. Come on. The 
Kasane, tell me, why did you kill my father and join Seiron? <sighs> Is it because my father was involved in metamorphosis research? Because New Himuka turned Naomi into an other? So you found out about it too. Yes, that's exactly right. Hey, Kodama's coming. What? What is she doing here? Master Yuito! Kodama is here! Huh? Who the hell are you? Uh, wait, Kasane! Look at this dead. Oh, that traitor Kasane is here too? That's fine. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master Yuito. I'm Kodama Malone. I believe this is our first time meeting as well. Oh, you're right! But I'm only loyal to Master Yuito. What? Huh? Oh, Master Yuito, I have a message from Master Fubuki. He's taking care of everything, so you can come back now. So, are you on our side, Kodama? Of course! I am always on your side, Master Yuito. Officially, my you. position may be the leader of Kodama Platoon and Major General Fubuki's aide, but my heart will always belong to you, Master Yuito. You could have just contacted us instead of coming all the way out here, Kodama. Maybe no one trusts you, Wataru. I mean, your sister went to Seiron after all. Shut up. Don't group me in with Haruka. And it wasn't just to deliver a message. I had to give this to you, too. What is it? Your medicine that was discarded at the OSF hospital. Oh. What? Is that okay? I don't mean to offend my uncle, but isn't it dangerous to take meds from the OSF hospital? Hanabi, and this goes for the rest of you as well, but it's in your best interests not to talk about or criticize the hospital in Suo. I'm hmm? sure you know why. Because the government is monitoring everyone. Exactly. Well, I'll be going back now. See you later, Master Yuito. That guy came and criticized the freaking hospital. Huh? This ampule. It's the same as the one I found in the abandoned underground subway. Why don't we stop by the hideout before returning to Suo to go over everything we learned? We won't have to worry about anyone listening there. And don't worry. Recording conversation data through my control system isn't allowed. Now that I think about it, Major General Fubuki probably prohibited recording in order to protect the OSF after he learned the truth about the government. Yeah, maybe. So much has happened. It feels like my brain is fried. Let's go over our situation first. Research on powers is being conducted at the old Ichijo OSF hospital building. It's likely they progressed in the research of the brain gain the ability to turn people into others, and perform personality rehabilitation. Yes. You can't blame yourself. You didn't know about any of this. Yes. You are so kind to everyone. So, I think you should be kind to yourself, too. Thank you. Moving on. The government is well aware that we've come to know this information. Major General Fubuki is trying to put out the fires, but it would be best to consider the possibility that we will become fugitives from the government. Anyone on the run from the government won't survive. Wait, there's Seiron. Yes, worst case scenario, we should consider fleeing to Seiron. And Yuito, how has your memory been? 
I haven't had any missing gaps in my memory recently. I think. If anything strange happens, please let us know. Although, concerning that medication you were prescribed... It was prescribed by the OSF hospital. It kinda scares me. Yes, I'm concerned as well. Right. I think it would probably be best to avoid taking it. Unless your condition significantly worsens. You're right. I'll do that. Hey, do you think it would be a good idea to ask my brother about this? Oh yeah, Chief Sumeragi is your older brother. I would advise against it. The Chief is with the government, after all. Of course, he is also your family. But any unnecessary contact would be dangerous right now. I wouldn't want to hinder Major General Fubuki in any way. <sighs> yes. You're right. Kaito. Were you aware of New Himuka's power experiments? Did Dad and Kaito do that to Nagi? Damn it! The only one that was left in the dark... ...was me. Only me. Damn, okay, that's... that is pretty hard, but still... Want to go into town with me if you're free? Is something going on? We talked about checking out trends, remember? I looked up a lot of interesting places. Oh, that. Okay, I did promise you after all. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure you'll find something you like. I hope so. <sighs> Are you all right? Give me a little time to gather my thoughts. That was a lot to take in. I dragged him all over <laughs> the place to show him the latest trends. But maybe I went a little overboard. Let's see. We've checked out all the new trendy spots. Was there one that caught your interest? What was that last one? I got mobbed by a herd of giant cats inside a room. Ah, the VR Cat, cat Cafe. That was pretty VR crazy. Cat cafe. It's apparently very popular with girls for their soothing effects. That was supposed to be soothing? Do youngsters these days find being buried in giant cats soothing? It was more like a nightmare. And before that one, we were trapped inside a tiny room and forced to do confusing puzzles. <laughs> right, escape the escape room. room. I thought that was pretty fun solving the riddles with vision. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, at least. Which means you didn't. Sorry, I should have researched better. No, I'm sorry to be complaining so much. It's not your fault. I just don't know how to enjoy them. I had no idea that amusement had changed so much. This is much different from the era I'm familiar with. To be honest, I can't keep up. I see. I'm sorry. Maybe we can grab something to eat to salvage the day. All right, but what to eat? I don't really eat here that often. They have a lot of different kinds of dishes here. What do you usually like to eat? Hmm. I'm not really very particular about my food. I guess I like gyoza if I had to choose. Gyoza? Oh, they have some interesting looking gyoza here. A new and popular dish the chef recommends. That's so. I don't really have a good feeling about it, but we came here to check out what's trending among the young people after all. You don't need to force yourself. It's okay. I've made up my mind. Let's do what we came here to do. Get reminds me of Thank you for Makoto waiting. Bonding. Here's our restaurant special variety gyoza platter. Please use any combination of these ten sauces. Enjoy. What? What is this? Green, yellow, red, black. Are these supposed to be gyoza? <laughs> uh, seems like <laughs> these are the restaurant's original gyoza. Apparently, they all have different fillings. Their shapes are just as strange as their colors. I see a round one, a square one, and this one has spikes. Is this what gyozas have come to in this day and age? I can't believe how much the food I once knew has changed. Hmm? 
Well, they look weird, but they actually taste really good. Why don't you try one? Eat this? I'm not thrilled about it. But I can't stand here and waste food. All right. Hey, you cannot mm. do. You're right. This doesn't taste bad. It's not what I'm familiar with, but it's interesting. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, they look weird, but you can't know until you eat them. Maybe I was too wary because they seem strange. Pretty delicious. If you can appreciate these, that means you learned how to enjoy one of the latest food trends. Hmm. Just because these gyozas happen to taste good doesn't mean I've learned to adapt to this age. I think your ability to appreciate them is important. That you were able to get past the way they look. You may have a point. At the end of the day, people still enjoy the same types of things. Even if those things may have changed. Yeah, exactly. I may have failed choosing good spots for you today, but I had fun checking them out together. I wasn't able to enjoy the newest trends, but I did have fun walking around the city. I felt behind the times every time I experienced something new. Time may pass, but our true nature remains constant. Just that our perspectives may have changed. Mmm. That hit the spot. Thank you for the meal. You're finished eating already? You must have really liked those. This might be my new favorite food. I guess trying new things isn't so bad. Well, let's do this again sometime. That's fine with me. But please, no more of that cat cafe. I don't dislike cats, but it's unsettling when they're that large. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Okay, we won't go there again. It seems part of it was a little too much for him. But I'm glad he ended up enjoying himself overall. I'm stating the obvious, but you're young. Well, I'm younger than you. I know I was young once too. I just can't really remember it. You should cherish this time <laughs> while you have it. Gemma, have you gotten a little bigger? Hmm, huh, have I? My training has been going well lately. Wow, did you have a change of heart or something? It's a little embarrassing, but I don't want you to get better than me. You can laugh at me <laughs> for being a silly old man. Ooh, I mean the stats alignments. Say that. Definitely. This dude's an idiot. Why is he going out of people that to kill him? Oh, there you are. I was beginning to think you wouldn't come. I hate killing time by myself. So, you said you wanted to talk about Sugumi. Did something happen with her? Oh, nothing like that. I'm just a bit concerned. I mean, that girl is kind of difficult for most people. What do you mean, difficult? She doesn't talk a lot, unlike me. And it takes her time to warm up to other people. <laughs> yeah, she is pretty She's quiet. She's doing fine. I've known Sugumi for quite a long time, and we get along just fine. I just worry whether she's getting along with everyone else. And now she's away from me in a new team. So I'm losing sleep worrying that she might be getting left out. We wouldn't do that. I'm sure she's getting along fine with everyone. Oh. Well, if Mr. Straight as an Arrow Yuito says it, I guess I can trust you. I kind of get the sense that he's making fun of me. She's not like me. She's a good girl. So you take care of her. I'm counting on you, seriously. Don't worry. You can count on me. Oh, that was kind of unexpected. I never saw him as the type to worry about other people. Sure, he's a joker, but he's actually pretty kind. That being said, 
I should probably ask him about it. Yeah, I think that might be best. Hey, Kagro, I have something I want to ask you. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. It's about my father, actually. Hmm? Yeah, what do you want to know? Well, you see, the world thinks Kasane killed him, and I saw Kasane holding a knife, but I still can't get myself to come to terms with it. Do you know what actually happened? Sorry, but I can't say anything. Maybe I will someday, but not now. Please, he was my father. Well then, let's say Kasane did do it. I'm sure she would have had a good, valid reason for doing so. Fine, but I want to know that reason. And then what? What are you gonna do? It's not something you can forgive just because you know why. Well, yeah, that but... Is true. Let's just forget all that for now. Why don't we talk about something nicer? Something nicer? He's just trying to change the subject. But I know he knows something. Anyway, let me be straight. Are there any girls in the OSF you like? Anyone that you've had your eye huh? on? What? Where did that come from? Don't be shy. Tell old Kagero how you really feel. Your childhood friend Hanabi, or the cool Kasane. Are you all about a cute face? Or could it be the magnanimous Kyoka? Huh? No, I mean, I never... Um, I guess I never really thought about it. Okay, hold up. So you're serious? You're not just being shy? Life can be really boring without a little desire, kid. What about you? You did seem pretty interested in Sugumi. D -d don't be an idiot. I don't think of Sugumi like that. <laughs> she and I are best friends. We understand each other. What we have is a connection of the souls. It's deeper than just a man and a woman. So you're almost like family. Mm, understandable. I understand yeah. that kind of thing better than talking about what my type is. <sighs> you really are lame and boring. If you don't loosen up, you oh, might wow. just end up suffocating yourself. Well, I've never really had any problems before. <laughs> All right, I got it. Sir Kagero will teach you how to have some real fun. Excuse me? Uh, no, I'm fine. I am a very strict teacher. It's probably best you bring an energy drink next time we meet. See ya! Oh god. But I said I didn't want to. And right when I was beginning <laughs> to think he might take things seriously, turns out he really is just a joker. Bond episode. Damn, left on the red. Damn, Kasane. <laughs> what is she even thinking? Ever since I met her, she's been hard to figure out. It's also weird that she looks like the person who saved me when I was young. Even talking to her face to face, it kind of feels like we're not on the same page. But she doesn't seem like she'd kill someone for no reason. I can't be sure, but I feel like she wouldn't. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, then I just have to figure out the truth on my own. I want to talk to Luca for a change. Luca, can I ask you something? Yes, I will answer if I can. Oh, is it about my brother? Uh, you mean former Major General Karin? No, not that. I wanted to ask you about yourself. We're fighting together now, so I wanted to know more about you. Ah, uh, about me? Did I say something wrong? No, I was merely surprised. People mostly ask about my brother, so I don't usually talk about myself. 
Your brother is Karin, after all. Yes, for better or worse, most people notice him. I am frequently in his shadow. So I tend to assume people want to talk about him. I apologize. Don't worry about it. I kind of understand how you feel. My older brother isn't like former Major General Karin, but he's known for always being an elite. And I'm me, so people are always comparing us. Chief Kaito. True. He must be very capable to become chief of the OSF at such a young age. It's hard having a brother that's good at everything. It makes it seem like you're bad at everything. I guess it's not like that for you. I mean, you're a Septentrion. The fact that you're just as good, if not better than your brother, is known among both the military and civilians. Regardless of what the military or civilians think of me, I'm no match for my brother. In a lot of ways. Huh? So, you wanted to know about me. What exactly did you have in mind? Yeah, right. Uh... What are your hobbies? <laughs> this is like an old-fashioned arranged marriage. Well, my hobby is exercising. What? Despite my looks, I enjoy honing my body. I created my own program a long time ago, and I exercise every day. Wow, exercise. He doesn't look like he works out. He's skinny and small. Did you just think he doesn't look like he works out? What? No, I didn't. Please be honest. I won't be angry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I did think that. I didn't know you could read minds as well as teleport. It was written all over your face. You're not very good at lying. Good to know. Well, I understand why you would think that. It is very difficult for me to build muscle. However, by continuing, I am seeing gradual results. It is true that persistence pays off. You're a hard worker. Yes, but I enjoy exercising too. The more work you put into your muscles, the more results you will see. You should try working out. From the looks of you, I think you'd see good results. If you follow the training program I created, you'll be ripped in six months. Huh? Very pacific. Ripped? Tell me if there's an area you would like to train. If you want washboard abs or shoulders like melons. Melons? I don't want to get that big. Uh, yeah, I'll let ones. you know later. Come to me anytime. This too much. My brain is going nuts. Yuito, wake up! Wachiru is on the line. <sighs> Sorry. I only meant to take a little break, but it looks like I fell asleep. So, Wataru, What's up? Is the fact that we snuck into the old OSF hospital going to be an issue? No. Major General Fubuki was able to take care of that for us, so that's not a problem anymore. It might not be a big deal, but I thought I should let you know about the hole in Kunat Highway. Now that you mention it, there was something strange in the sky above Kunat Highway. I guess you could call it a hole. So much happened after that, I'd forgotten about it. So what was it? The government is calling it the Kunat Gate. A survey team took a look, but aside from the extremely localized gravitational anomaly, they don't know anything about it. It's just that it has similar characteristics to a black hole, so that area has been deemed off-limits. Kunat Gate. Nothing could be seen on the other side. It was... unsettling. You might not go there, but I figured it's better to know about it than not. That's true. Thanks for telling me about it. If you learn anything more, please let me know. As you wish. Oh, I almost forgot. Yuito Platoon's next orders are to stay on standby. So you can hang around the hideout a little while longer. Really? Then I think we should do just that. Yes, that is a good idea. Knowing Fubuki, I'm sure he arranged all of this. So I think it's best to comply. 
Fubuki. Major General Fubuki, how did you find this place? I told him. I thought it would be safer to talk here in the hideout rather than meet in the safe zone every time. Thank you, Luca. I managed to sneak past their surveillance, so we should be fine for a little while. They started monitoring you? I told you before that I was a government dog. But I don't have to be a dog anymore, now that Karin's gone. What do you mean? Karin's personality didn't make him popular with the government. The top brass <laughs> has been targeting him for elimination or personality rehabilitation for some time now. That's why I took on the role of being the government's puppet, directing the OSF in Karin's place. So, does he... He doesn't know that I had to become his monitor in order to protect him from the government. Besides, huh. even if I told him, he'd probably just tell me to stay out of it. To be honest, I'm a little relieved. I don't have to be the government's yes-man anymore. Government surveillance will be stretched thin after Ceron's uprising. I don't plan on missing this opportunity. I should be able to bring change to this country by taking a different path from Karin. Different path? What are you planning on doing? This country is aggressively pursuing power research through illegal human experimentations. I have no idea why. They can get away with it because the government has complete control over information. Even the media is under the government's monitoring and influence. I want to find out why they would do this and free this country from its corrupt system. Karin joined forces with Ceyron and rebelled against the state to do the same. However, I feel that collapsing the government system from the inside is the fastest way to results. My brother is trying to change this country from the outside, while you're trying to change it from within. Yes. Feigning loyalty allows us opportunities to learn valuable information. We should be able to find out what the government is hiding through the city computer Arahobaki. Please, let me help you. I want to know what my father has done and what my brother is hiding. Yuito, you are the commander of this platoon, and a commander's number one responsibility is to their platoon members. If you attempt to pursue these government secrets, it will undoubtedly put your platoon members in danger. Are you fully aware of that? Then please, remove me from command. I can't do that because, for better or worse, there are many eyes on you. There's also the fact that your post was specifically ordered by Chief Kaito Sumeragi. Well, if we all agree with what Commander Yuito is doing, then it doesn't matter. Yama! Either way, my time with the OSF is drawing to an end. I'm getting too old. But before I leave, I want to uncover the truth. I want to know why that happened to Naomi, and why Nagi received personality rehabilitation. I agree with Gemma. If you're going to try to uncover the government's secrets, then I would like to help. I was also subjected to this country's human experiments. What do you mean? My brother Karin and I received power enhancement treatments. I had no idea. If Yuito can't be removed from the platoon, then you can remove the platoon members instead. Any member who doesn't want to take part in this can simply be assigned to a different platoon. Fine. I can't very well turn down your help now. However, reorganizing your platoon requires paperwork. So I will issue you an official deployment order in the meantime. Please gather intel around the Seiron area. I've heard OSF deserters are appearing around Mizuhagawa. Former OSF members sympathetic to Seiron's cause could be up to something. While you're investigating, I will take the steps necessary to reassign Hanabi and Sugumi to a different platoon. What? Oh. Okay. okay, get to it then. There's a chance that Ceyron OSF patrols might show up beyond this point. Let's keep our eyes open. Were you serious about what you said back at the hideout? About helping Major General Fubuki? Right. Because wouldn't that mean going against your brother and your late father? I'm... Staying in this platoon. What? Sugumi. What happened to Naomi was terrible. And if the government had something to do with it, then I won't let them get away with it. Hold on. 
Incoming others from the front. Hanabi, Sugumi, we'll talk later. For now, let's clean up the other. Yeah, you're right. Understand. Here we go. <laughs> Are there any more others? I'm not reading any. Mm. Yuito, are you okay? What the hell? Again? I was checking medication, bro. Huh? Yeah, I didn't take too much damage in that fight. What are you talking about? You suddenly said your head hurt and stopped dead in your tracks. Huh? Did you black out again? Do you remember what we were talking about? Hanabi asked me if I was really going to help Major General Fubuki, and then Sugumi said she was going to stay in the platoon. And after that? After that, we got attacked by others, so we obviously didn't talk about anything. <laughs> right? You don't remember Luca and Gemma's stories? What did they talk about? About my aging, and the experiments Luca was subjected to. <sighs> Sorry, I don't remember any of that. Did you really talk about that? Yuito, I was listening, so I can verify. I'm not seeing any abnormalities to your status, so maybe it's just mental exhaustion, like the doctor said. The more you use your power, the more you tax your brain. It might be better to avoid fights right now. I can't do that. We have our assignment. Are you really okay? A snake boat. Ginger. Huh? What? Flaxpig. Table slug? <laughs> what? what? None of the words are matching what I'm thinking. Home child. <laughs> what? I see an abnormality in his cranium. What's going on? His speech is impaired. His brain must have experienced a great amount of stress. What can we do? We have the medication the hospital provided. But that ampule seems fishy. It looks exactly like the ampules we found at the abandoned subway. Everyone, be careful. You have an other closing in on you. This timing couldn't be worse. Stay here and rescue Ito. We'll handle the others. Damn it! My head feels like it's going to split in two! My head! I can still fight! isn't good. I can't use my power at all. I won't even be able to fight. What can we do? Is there some way to cure him? Do I drink it? 
Yuito! No time to be squeamish. That other's gonna kill me if I don't take this. I have to! Yuito? Did he drink the medication? Sugumi! I'm looking now. Oh, the abnormality in his cranium is starting to disappear. This medication is really working. Uh, my head is starting to hurt a lot less. Yuito, I can understand what you're saying now. Can you fight? Yeah, I'm good to go. Let's take them out. I can move. It doesn't hurt as much. I can do this. Use this. Come on. Let me borrow this. I think it's like back for on my end. How are you feeling, Yuito? I feel fine now. I know I had you worried, but I'm glad I took it. Honestly, I wasn't going to be any help in that condition. That makes sense. And I'm not seeing any signs of side effects either. Perhaps there was no need to worry about the medication after all. Well, it smelled weird and tasted really bad. Are we going to continue on our assignment? Shouldn't we go back to the hideout and rest a little bit? I'm fine. My powers are working normally again. I'll let you know if something feels off. Let's keep going. Copy that. But please don't push yourself too hard. Promise me. Okay. I promise. Wait. There's something up ahead. The extinction belt is thick above that area, so I can't detect anything from my end. Any other information? I think they're trucks. Two of them. They're moving towards Ceyron? Hmm? What is it? Um, I thought I just saw something inside the truck bed. Although, it was probably my imagination. Okay, I managed to tap into a nearby surveillance camera feed. Those are OSF transport vehicles. Enemy hmm. or ally? Yuito Platoon is the only OSF team deployed near Mizuhagawa. Then I guess that means they're Seiron's OSF team. <gasps> I see two individuals heading towards us. It looks like Kagura and Kyuka. <laughs> of course, they're invisible. Be careful. I'm not picking them up at all. Yeah. All right. Right. Here they come. Right. 
Appreciate that. Too late. Duplicated it. I wonder why Kyoka and Kagero attacked us. I thought that Kasane was the one after Yuito. Is it because they're Damn. on the sunny side? Which one's the real one? Regardless, please yeah, they're be all careful. Real? I'll help. Damn. Even if you find this, my your power is the absolute worst to go against. I wonder if that's why we're <laughs> such good friends. If you really think that, then retreat. I don't want to do this. Now my old trusted commander is my enemy. Yes, you are a good soldier. I didn't want it to end up like this. Yeah, it's huh. too bad. Damn. she's a problem. Okay. Oh, I need now. You're stronger than anticipated. Let's go. We did what we needed to. Jackson? Were Kyoka and Kagero guarding this area? Could it have to do with the transport vehicle? They were clearly stalling for time. I'll try to follow them. Sugumi, could you send me their tracking data? I can't. There are so many Kagero's and Kyoka's. They're all going in different directions. That's Kyoka's duplication power. They're attempting to confuse us. I'm sorry. It's going to take time to identify the real pair. I also lost sight of the transport vehicles. I hate losing. It was a diversion to hide the transport vehicle's destination from Sugumi. Which direction were the vehicles going the last time you saw them? I think towards Seiron. They must have been carrying something important if they made sure we didn't follow. We might be able to find out some key information. Give me some time. I'll see what I can find out with Tsugumi's information. Hmm. Yuito, there's a place I want to check out, but it's in a different direction from Seiron. It looks like the duplicates are all avoiding this area. I can't be sure, but it seems suspicious. Nice catch, Wataru. Okay, we'll go check it out. What is this place? There's nobody here. Hey, I see the transport vehicles. Then this must be it. We're pretty far from the city. Do you think this is still Seiron's facility? I can't seem to find any information on it at all, which only makes it more suspicious. Looks like they haven't noticed us yet, but I do feel a strange presence here. I can't really put it into words either. I will go check the vehicle. Sugumi, Wataru, please cover me. Hey, Yuito. Are you remembering things okay? What about your speech? Any headaches? I'm okay for now. No need to worry so much. You are making sense. It's natural for her to feel worried. Don't push yourself too hard. You've always had health problems, ever since you were little. That's right. You did mention that before. Yeah. I spent most of my early childhood inside a hospital. They finally let me leave when I was around five, and I've been fine ever since. Wait. Luca found something quite alarming. 
What do you mean? I know what the transport vehicles are carrying. Human heads. That can't be. What? The transport vehicle was filled with these. No, I thought I was just seeing things, but they're really. One of the trucks was already empty, but I believe it was carrying the same thing. Two trucks worth of human heads? What in the hell for? Let's try sneaking in a little further. Kasane and her team might be here. Okay. We need to find out why they're doing this anyway. It won't open. I guess sneaking in is going to be harder than I thought. I can't use my clairvoyance on any of these doors. Hmm. Who are... Us? <laughs> what the fuck? Yo. Damn. Forgive the rough treatment. Don't worry, we only knocked him out. He won't be waking up for a while. Wow, all three of you were amazing. Have you done that Thanks. Before? I couldn't even move. I'm glad I have people like you who can make such quick decisions. Hold on. This might be a key card for the door. What a gun on oh my man. Nice Jesus. find, Sugumi. We shouldn't have a problem getting in now. This puts us in enemy territory. I need to be ready for anything. Okay. Let's try this door. Oh, 